Hello friends, I am Guna Madhivanan, Current Affairs Faculty at Offices IS Academy. So in this Current Affairs at least video series, the next topic will be about New Start. New Start, 12th topic, New Start. Friends, since 1945, 9 countries so far they have equipped themselves with nuclear weapons. What are those 9 countries? You know, it is USA, Russia, UK, France, China, India, Pakistan, Israel, as well as North Korea. They are armed. They are armed with nuclear weapons. In 2020, estimate says there are 13,400 nuclear weapons. There are 13,400 nuclear weapons. Right? Almost 90 percentage of these nuclear weapons are with USA and Russia. When you compare this with 2019 data, in 2019 we had 13,865 nuclear weapons but today we have 13,400 nuclear weapons and this reduction is because of the efforts taken by USA and Russia. So US and Russia since 1970s they started taking efforts towards nuclear disarmament. They started signing different treaties. They started signing different agreements to reduce their nuclear weapons possessions. So they were going towards disarmament efforts. For example, some agreements which they have signed. So one is the SALT agreement which was signed in 1972, Strategic Arms Limitation Talks. That was the first agreement which was signed in the series of agreements. In 1994, START 1, Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. Then in 1987, Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. In 2010, one treaty was signed that is New Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. All these treaties, all these treaties which I have mentioned, which aimed to uh, reduce the number of nuclear weapons, the number of nuclear warheads, the number of delivery vehicles. So basically all these agreements which try to reduce the number of nuclear weapons possessed by these two countries. In different different period, different different agreements were signed. INF treaty, <coughs> last year it was in news. Why INF treaty was in news? So intermediate nuclear uh, range forces treaty. This treaty which was signed in 1987. Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty which was signed in 1987. This treaty is asking USA, USA and Russia they signed this treaty. This treaty, this treaty says that both the countries will eliminate, will eliminate all ground based missiles which will have a range which will have a range of 500 to 5500 kilometers. That means, see how significant this treaty is. USA and Russia, they signed in 1987 that both the countries will eliminate one entire class of uh, missiles. All ground based missiles which has a range of 500 to 5500 kilometers will be eliminated, will be removed. But remember only ground based, air based, water based, a missile can be launched from ground, air and water. So this talks about elimination of ground based missiles only. This treaty came into effect in 1987 but in 2019 USA that is Trump, he unilaterally he came out of this treaty. Why? He said that Russia has violated the treaty, Russia has developed a missile which has a range of 800 kilometers. But Russia says no, no, we haven't developed. But USA said that Russia has developed. They have a missile which has a range of 800 kilometers. So USA last year, it came out of this treaty. That is why it was in news. So today, what is in news? So I said the latest agreement signed on this topic is the New START. New START, New Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, which was signed in 2010, the treaty aims to reduce the number of nuclear warheads and delivery vehicles. Warheads means the bomb, the tip of the missile, the bomb. Delivery vehicles, the missiles, right? The number of weapons 
the warheads and number of delivery vehicles has to be reduced. So, reduce the warheads by 1550 and reduce the delivery vehicles by 800. That is what this new START treaty was saying and this treaty will come will expire on 2021. In February 2021, this treaty will expire. That means beyond 2021, if these two countries, USA and Russia, if they want to extend the treaty, they can extend. If they are not taking any effort, then the treaty will expire. The new start will expire. So, what USA says? What USA says? USA says, see, only USA and Russia alone taking disarmament efforts will not be sufficient. We need China also. We need China also. Right? USA says any disarmament effort should also include China. But China said no, we will not participate. USA says without China, it is insignificant in signing any such treaty. So, USA said, so USA is not showing any interest in extending the New START treaty. So, in 2019 already USA it came out of INF treaty and in 2021 definitely the new START treaty will not be extended. So, the era of nuclear disarmament, the era of nuclear disarmament it is going to come to an end. Right? So, this is about the new START treaty. Okay? I have also given the names of other treaties simply go through. At the max UPC might ask you in the exam about so new start treaty deals with which among the below statements or new start treaty is signed between which among the countries right very simple questions only will be asked so this is about the new start okay so I have asked a question a very easy question based on this you we'll give your answer in the comment section I hope you like the video and the initiative you can give your feedbacks in the comment section right so Tomorrow, I will be uh, coming up with another exciting topic, right? Till then, take care. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.